When the sun rises, I wake up and chase my dreams. I won't regret when the sun sets, cause I live my life like I'm a beast. Side palm, right side canine. We got one puppy up front. We got one puppy in the back. And we're going for a drive to go to a store. Do a little shopping. So of course we're gonna do a little conditioning while we shop. And uh, we try to get the dogs out into the cars as much as possible. Um, one up front, one in the back, just ride different places, take their turns to again get as used to traveling as we can. Another day, another training opportunity. So today was a busy day. Uh, we had these pups and other dogs that were training all over the place. Here we're at PetSmart, I believe this is. It's a mega PetSmart. It's, it's ginormous. It is huge. It's really out of control. So when you go there, it, I was sticking to the exterior aisles and kind of the perimeter because there was less people and less dogs. In the center of this place, there were multiple, uh, some kind of doggy obedience class for pups, some kind of dog obedience class for like mid-aged dogs. It was crazy. There was an adoption thing going on in the back. I mean, there were so many peoples and dogs and barking, but I just we just stuck to the perimeter so we could actually get some quality training. And we did go and intermix with a couple other people. I don't trust half the dogs there. You know, I don't trust the owners. If you're seeking obedience at PetSmart, that's kind of probably an issue. Anyway, um, that's pretty impressive. You see this little dog right here go right up on top of that ladder. Pretty cool. No issues at all with environmental conditioning. These two puppies are becoming so strong when it comes to environments that I'm having to get really creative. So we're going to start upping our game. Uh, we're going to be introducing gunfire later this week and doing that, you know, associating it all with positivity, associating it with food, making sure that gunfire does not represent excitement, uh, zero barking, zero aggression, just another day, another training opportunity and just keep it like that. And we're just working with them daily, just trying to make these pups as strong as possible. Right here, I actually passed one of the puppy classes. Um, they basically just stopped and started looking at me. And I think I had more attention on me from the students than the teacher was getting from the students. Whatever. So this is going to be played in real time. I was trying to teach one of the pups right here to go up into this crevice. It's a slippery floor onto a very, very slippery surface. It's the side of a crate container. It's that waxy cardboard paper. First, I showed him. So as with dogs, as I always say, you got to show them, you got to tell them, you got to teach them. So I show them first, I show them there's food, I build a little momentum, and boom, he jumps up hesitantly, but he still jumps. So I go in there with him. This is just supporting. I am supporting the behavior that I just basically elicited him to produce for me. He gets some click clicks, he gets some food, tails wagging, we're having fun, so I'm going to up the speed a little bit, and pop pop, I don't need to go in there with him anymore because he did it on his own. So that's, he's never been to this store before. He's never seen this obstacle before. It's a dark hole. It's slippery floor, slippery surface. And now we're doing it with confidence and enthusiasm. We'll bring him out, put a little bit of obedience on him real quick, just to, to maintain some focus. He's having a hard time chewing that food. Boom, into the strong side heel. One step, command to hup, and ba bop. Pretty cool. Uh, nighttime, we continued our conditioning with low light conditioning around the vehicles this vehicle is on it is running that's why i played that little first video so you can hear it we no longer condition around vehicles unless the vehicles are on i don't want the dogs to get spooked the first time they come into a you know vehicle running and the odors and sounds that are associated with that so <clears throat> you do it as real world as possible and right here you see he's jumping in the car on his own i'm ignoring him as soon as he jumps up clack clack and he gets his food and um, Again, too often people teach how to jump into a car, but they don't teach the whole car. So teach the front door, the back door, the side door, the hatch, the trunk, the hood, the engine. Teach everything. So that way, in the real world, should your dog need to problem solve and think, he's not going to get freaked out the first time he does something. Because everything he could possibly see, he's going to see as a puppy. Therefore, come real world, the dog is going to be as solid as it can possibly be. So again, we do a lot of work on top of cars. Remember what you're seeing here. This is not some strong conditioned dog. This is a very young pup. Um, we help him go down. So he, he's scared to go over that windshield right there. It's very dark outside. The camera's picking up a lot more light than the human eye does. He's having to really use courage here. He's, he's stepping away, coming back, stepping away, coming back. I give a lot of verbal praise. 
a lot of and boom, he comes right down the windshield. It's, that's pretty fantastic. I pick him up. I'm pretty happy with that. And here again, like I said, you can't show just one door or a side door. They also need to be jump up in the hatch. So this is just an old Jeep we have. And here he's jumping up in the back. And we're going to finish it off. Uh, that's just an old uh, third generation Glock, I believe. Yes, it's unloaded. Please don't write me any stupid comments about gun safety. Here he's being clicker trained and eating while the gun is in a forward aggressive position. So this is just, again, going to go along later with just relaxing around firearms. The gun being up doesn't mean get excited, doesn't mean bite me in the leg or anything else. And that's a wrap. We're calling it the day. Richside Farm, Richside Canine. Let us know if you need any help with training, uh, training board, boarding, or importing the dogs. We're here to help. We are a veteran-owned, veteran-run, very small business in western Loudoun County. Let us know what we can do for you.